Hey everyone, welcome to this Friday's Coach's Corner. For those of you who are new to the group, we want to say a big welcome to you and I'll introduce myself. My name is Penny Hounsom. I'm a health and lifestyle coach and my specialty is helping women work through their trauma. And together with Coach Lisa Boston, we are the founders of Lux Life Coaching and Retreats. And today I want to talk about something that we find with our clients happens a lot. So the title is, why are you constantly healing and still feeling stuck? So when we work with our people one-to-one, we have a more intimate look at how they're, how they're going through the process, how they're going through the work, how they're, they show up for themselves. Um, and in everything that we do and all the programs that we build, whether it's like, you know, the freebies that we put out, everything's garnered for you in, for you to go through and work through whatever step that you're at. Right. So everybody has a little bit of a different mode of, um, learning, whether it's a visual, it's audio, it's both. So Hopefully when you guys, I'll, I'll put up, I, I may have a, a post I can put up with this, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, so what I want to get into and why this is a huge factor for a lot of people, because we hear this over and over again, people are constantly stuck, even though they're doing some of the work, what they're missing is the follow-up. What they're usually missing is being committed to doing the work consistently, so this is a thing we, we run into this all the time. Coach Lisa and I see this constantly when we do things. It's like, and we've been in this industry for like 27 plus years. That number just keeps going up and up and it's kind of freaky a little time sometimes, but more than half my life, I've been in fitness industry and same with uh, Coach Lisa Boston. So when we look at what the missing components are, is that when we see people feeling stuck, there's several factors. One is that they're missing the cue that these are lifestyle changes. Same as if you change what you're eating. It's not a time. It doesn't revolve around a time frame. It doesn't revolve around, you know, the diets. Let's be clear in our verbiage. A diet is what you eat every single day. That is your diet. Whether that's you know, salad and chicken and fruits and vegetables or takeout or processed food or McDonald's, whatever, whatever you consistently eat every single day, that is in fact your diet. Now, how we make a change of moving from like, from feeling stuck into where we want to be is when we look at the aspects on a mental level. Right. So everything that I guys, you guys know, like I do on a Friday is like putting the pieces together from a mental standpoint and what our mental fitness is. And coach Lisa puts together on the intuitive nutrition. And then we also add in our movement mastery. So those three pillars of what we teach, if you're missing one of them and you're not really committed to one of them, you're not going to see the changes that you think you're going to see, or you're going to be always repeating the same patterns over and over and over again. How many of you and you're watching this have like gone on and off a diet or, you know, lost weight, gained weight, lost weight, gained weight. Oh, I got in the habit of like doing a little bit of journaling, but then I got out of the habit and then I'm like, now I'm feeling all these things again and I can't seem to stay consistent and I have no motivation and I'm procrastinating. Right. So all of these things come up. It's like, you know, we get overwhelmed because of the fear. We get overwhelmed because we don't trust in our own ability. So that is one of the first things. We're going to look at six. I did that. That's not it. <laughs> it's six. We're going to look at six things of like why you're constantly healing and still feeling stuck. Okay. The first one is again, because you don't trust your own ability to heal. And if you have, in fact, what I was just talking about, gone on these loops of like, stop, start, stop, start, you know, fitting on the wagon, falling off the wagon. Oh, I'm going to restart on Monday. Whatever creation that you've built into your conversation of actually you're building a vicious cycle. We also call it a drama cycle because it's attention seeking behavior. So whatever you're doing 
you've built the trust or the lack of in yourself because you haven't allowed yourself long enough in order to do what you need to do. So the fact is, if you're journaling and meditating and being mindful, two different things, by the way, if you're making those mental shifts into trusting yourself that you can commit, that's half of the work right there, okay? The other one we wanna look at is because you're not focusing on you, but on your circumstance. Right. So the circumstances around you and instead of focusing on this is what I need, it's like, oh, work's doing this. My kids are doing this. My spouse needs this. Oh, the house. Oh, I have to clean. Oh, we're moving. Oh, I have to work. That's a lot of excuses. That's a lot of excuses of like putting everything else and creating the suffering that you're trying to avoid because you're creating it yourself. If you in actual fact, just focused on what you needed to do, you would in fact have more time, you'd have more peace, you'd be more relaxed, your stress level would come down and you'd also lose the belly fat because those things are related, right? Okay, so when we look at also, because you trust your fears more than you trust your strengths, how many of you watching have thought Oh, I can't do that because like, you know, I failed so many times and I fear I'm going to fail again, or oh, I can't sign up for this, but you'll sign up and you'll jump to the next quick fix. We see this all the time. Instead of staying like coach Lisa and I do this all the time, this, the pillars and the parts of our program that are so simple, they're so simple, but yet the problem is they're so simple. People think oh, that can't work. Yes, they do, but you're going to like, so you're trusting, you're, you're trusting your fear of, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. So you've already told yourself what you can or cannot do without even trying. Trust in the fact that you're an adult, you know, better, you know what you need to do and you just have to stick to it because when you're making a change for your life, it is like marriage till death do us part. Yeah. So it's not like, oh, I'm going to do it for six weeks or I'll do it for eight days. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to do it just for the summer. Oh, it's like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to, on March, I'm going to like start dieting for my summer body. If you just stuck to like what you needed to do and stuck to it, like, you know, the format, you wouldn't need to be worrying about fitting into a dress for the wedding. Oh, I like, we're having an anniversary. I need to, oh, we're going on vacation. Oh, I got to fit in my bikini because they would just fit. It would just be there. So you need to trust in what you can do opposed to trusting in the fear. So we have to move past that. Okay, the other way we wanna look at is because there's a question that hasn't been answered at the end of your life chapter. This is where we have, I have my clients, our clients dig into what is holding them back. And for most people, they don't wanna do this. They don't wanna probe. They don't wanna look at it. They don't wanna see what's behind the curtain. But I'm telling you, unless you dig into the mindset of why you are where you are, you're never, ever going to change. You will continually do the loop and the loop and the loop and the loop. This is the missing piece that Coach Lisa and I have put together in all of our programs, where everything from the freebies all the way to our one-to-one -one coaching programs. So we're, I'm not here promoting our one-to-one -one program. I still, I feel they're great because they are, but you don't have to be there. You can be in one of the other free programs in order to get, or one of the lower end programs in order to get in touch with why you're doing what you're doing. You need to start looking at these things or you're continually going to, and a loop, and a loop, right? So these are the things like this is, if you're doing all the work or you think you're doing all the work and you're still stuck, you're not doing the right work. That's the difference. I know I sound a little preachy today. It's true. I do. And I'm okay with that because sometimes guys, a little hard truth needs to be said and a little tough love. And it comes from a place of love and I'm not trying to sound preachy, but it's frustrating when we hear conversations and we have conversations with women all the time. And it's nothing but excuse after excuse, after excuse, after excuse. Think about yourself. How many times are you making an excuse to create your own suffering? How many times, right? I've done it. 
I have to look at my own work. Like I do all of this kind of stuff myself. I'm always looking to like figure out where can I make an advantage? Where can I get better? Where can I strengthen? Okay. What's my weakness? Okay. That's my weakness. How do I strengthen that? How do I bring that forth? How do I acknowledge the things I've been trying to avoid? Right. So that's where we come into getting in touch with and making that change from that level. Okay. One of the other things, number five, because other people have implanted their fears and insecurities on you. How many times have you said to somebody, hey, I'm going to start a business. I'm going to do this program. I'm going to go water skiing. I'm going to do this. And somebody goes, oh, I can't do that. First, I didn't ask, right? When I say to somebody, oh, I'm, this is what I'm doing. And they're, oh, I could never do that. Oh I, oh, I don't know how you do it. I didn't ask you to do it. That's the response, by the way. When you want to do something, most my my suggestion to for most people is like don't tell everybody because everybody's going to have an opinion and it's like none of your business what their opinion is and quite frankly it's nobody else's business what you're doing either but what what we do and from a mindset standpoint why we're putting it out there is because we're looking for attention we're looking for love and acceptance and sometimes we're looking for an excuse that we can give ourselves to quit let that one sink in for a second. If I go to I had enough people and I tell them, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this diet and I'm going to do this training program and oh, I'm going to do a marathon. Okay, that's a bad example. I've already done a whole bunch. Um, I'm going to go kayaking and portaging in a, in a forest. And I go to, if I tell enough people, they're going to be like, oh my God, that's so hard. Oh my God, I wouldn't do that. Oh my God, you could be, what if you get eaten by a bear? Oh my God, you're going to be like so tired. Oh my, like you're not going to have to, Excuse, 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 insecurity. And I can grab all those to make an excuse to go, oh yeah, I shouldn't do that. So everybody told me not to. Opposed to just like doing it, which probably turns out to be really fun. I mean, I don't feel like portaging in a canoe anyway, but that that's, but there's people that do it. There's women that do it. Okay, the last one we're gonna talk about is because you revert to what is familiar and comfortable. And we have this happen time and again, even with clients who have gone through our program, but did not do the mindset work. They only looked at it as a diet. We don't do that, by the way. We don't do diets. We don't believe in them. They're not part of our life. Um, it's not holistic and it's not sustainable. So when you're looking to make changes, it takes time in order to get to where you want to be. My grandfather used to say it all the time. You keep learning until you die, right? Like, and that's how it should be. If you're stagnating and you're like, oh, I know everything. I don't, I, I don't need to learn it. Then you're stagnant and you're holding yourself back in order to feel stuck so you can have an excuse. Okay, so I understand when you're very comfortable in your position, moving to the next one is very uncomfortable. I can tell you from personal experience, it's brutal but it's worth it. And then every time you jump from being comfortable to the next level, the uncomfortableness, is that a word? Sure. Is less. You get through it faster. You get to the point where you get to move through feeling uncomfortable faster and easier because you've been doing it so many times and you're letting go of all the crap that's holding you back and holding you stuck. So when you're looking at well, why am I still feeling stuck? You have to look at all of these aspects. Again, you don't trust your own ability to heal. You don't, you're, you're trusting your fears more than you're trusting your strengths because you're not focused on yourself, but only on the problems around you. Because there's a question that hasn't been answered from answer to the life chapter. So your past if you haven't reconciled what's gone on in the past, it's very difficult to move forward um, because you have, and again, so I'm recapping, because people have implanted their fears and insecurity onto you, and then you use them as an excuse, and because you're reverting to what you is familiar for comfort, right? So those are the aspects of when we look at why are we doing the healing and why are we all stuck? So guys, when you're looking to make a change, I've said it a hundred times. If you're not connecting here to here and the rest of your body, 
you're never going to make that connection. You're never going to be able to get to where you're looking to go because you're missing the connection. You have to put the mindset work together with why you got to where you are, why you're looking to make a change, how can you make that change and what you need to do. And if you're not willing to dig in and we've had, listen, we've had clients who have like quit our program because they're like, they don't want to be probing. They don't want to look, but then they're wondering, why am I still like this? Why am I uh, reacting? Why am I not moving forward? Well, the kind of question is why those answer, those things have to be answered. So I apologize for feeling sounding a little preachy because even to myself, I feel like I sounded a little harsh. But it also gets a little frustrating when, you know, we're putting out all the things and everybody is in this consumption mode of I'm just going to read and read and read. And, oh, I know that. And the answer is like, oh, I know, I know, I know. But you're not actually doing the work. So who honestly, if you're watching this and you got this far, kudos and thank you. Um, have you do, are you doing the work? Are you actually physically doing what it really takes? And here's the other question is, and Coach Lisa and I had this conversation the other day. Do you even know the amount of work it takes to get to the goals that you want and what it takes to maintain? Anybody can lose weight, but it's maintenance. It's about maintaining what you've learned. It's also about adapting what you've learned and integrating it into your lifestyle. And that's the trick. And that's mostly what we're teaching people and coaching people through is how to hold on to what you've learned and how to move from consumption to actually doing it so that you're implementing it. So your life actually changes, your vibration changes, your energy changes, what comes to you changes and all of the good things come. And when you see the change, it's good enough where you're like, oh, I'm going to continue. And that's what we want for you. That's what we want for everybody all the way down to our freebie products to all the way to our coaching. Everything in between gets you one step closer in your health journey to where you want to be. So that's me for this week. So I will see you guys next Friday with another wonderful topic about our mind, mental fitness. Guys, have a great Friday.